Women are fucking stupid. Now, I don't mean this in a macho man, male, chauvinistic kind of way. I mean it in the pure, basic sense that women are fucking stupid. And I got a little proof to back me up on this one. See, there's still a whole lot of shit I don't fully comprehend, but this one in particular leaves me speechless. Mesmerized, if you will, as to the thought process that goes on inside your fucking heads. You see, women will spend countless hours of your day primping and prepping to go out into public and impress people you don't know and people you can barely fucking tolerate at best. And for some reason, this process must take place at 6 a.m. every morning. You do your hair just right. Straightening, curling, teasing, spraying, ratting, and styling to perfection. Filing, buffing, and painting your fingernails and toes. You apply base coat, foundation, toners, and highlights to your face as if you were sculpting a perfect masterpiece. Plucking, pulling, and shaping those eyebrows. You adhere one-inch long false eyelashes over the top of your own eyelashes and somehow seamlessly manage to blend them to look as one. You paint those eyes up with eyeliner, eyeshadow, and mascara. You end the face painting process by applying lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. Berry douche flavored lip gloss, if you were curious. I know I was. But the process does not end there because now we have to find the perfect attire for the day. Do I wear the short skirt, long skirt, or the mini skirt? Or do I wear the summer dress, long dress, or the provocatively revealing, sheer, form-fitting, low-cut, barely covering my ass, ladies' night out, club dress? You decide. Fuck it. I'm wearing my Daisy Duke jean shorts with the frayed bottoms and the pockets protruding from below. Now, do I wear a t-shirt, tank top, or blouse? You choose to wear your red silk low-cut blouse that, if you bend over just a little bit too much, your tits come popping out from within, so you must be careful. But, but it will be worth it. Shoes. Do I wear hooker boots, cowboy boots, work boots, heels, wedges, flats, flip-flops, or tennis shoes? You choose your heels with the fancy leather straps that weave around your legs 87 times and take 45 minutes per shoe to install. Finally, your hair and makeup are done and your clothes are now on, but you still need to find the proper jewelry to accentuate your hair, makeup, and clothes. Necklaces. Do I wear gold, silver beads, or pearls? You pick the long pearl necklace with the designer cross on it that hangs perfectly between each of your two shiny glittery tits. Which, by the way, I did forget a step. Glitter tits. Because every woman likes to accentuate their tits with shiny, glossy, glittery tit potion. Moving on to earrings. You have diamond studs, loops, hoops, and those silver dog bone looking fucking things that stick out on both sides of your ears. You quickly go with the hoops that match the designer cross on the necklace. Perfect, now we are making progress. Bracelet watcher rings. Again, you quickly go with the rings that match the hoops that match the designer cross on the necklace that fits perfectly between your two shiny glittery tits. It is now only noon and you are all but ready to go, ahead of schedule even. A couple of squirts of perfume, one last look in the mirror to check your hair and makeup, and you are ready to go to Walmart grocery shopping. Now none of you ladies would even dare think of leaving the house until each and every one of these items have been met. In fact, you would rather call in sick to work than show up to work without your false eyelashes. So now you're in fucking Walmart grocery shopping, looking like the super hot model does prior to the start of the sex scene in a porno. And let's face it guys, that's the part of the porno where you're turned on the most. She looks fresh, clean, pure, and innocent as she cluelessly parades around in her skimpy attire just before ten guys come in, rip off all of her clothes, and defile her. And as you're shopping, guys are walking by, staring at your perfectly accentuated tits. Now you're appalled and disgusted that they dare look at you in such a degrading and objectifying manner. Kind of funny. You spent all the time primping and prepping so that they would notice, and now that they did notice... You're upset. Now on the other side of the spectrum, when it's Saturday morning, you have no plans other than spend the day with your husband or significant other. You still look like the same hot model, but this time, you look like she looks after the sex scene. 
Hair standing straight up in the fucking air. Yours because you just rolled out of bed. Hers because she took ten loads of cum on her face and her head. One eyelash is fucking perfect. The other is hanging by a thread from the corner of the eye. Eye shadow smeared across the forehead. Mascara dripping down your cheeks like perfectly positioned war paint. Lips dry and cracked from the overuse of the berry douche flavored lip gloss the night before. The jewelry is all put away and the fancy clothes are off. Replaced rather by an old tattered baggy fitting Bon Jovi t-shirt. The Daisy Dukes replaced by those sweatpants that from behind make you look like you have pancake butt and from the front give you a tremendous camel toe. One pink croc on your right foot, lime green flip flop on the other. As you stroll out to the couch to start drinking your morning coffee, that is when your man, the one and only person you should be concerned with impressing, asks you the big question. So when will you be ready for the day, honey? You look at him with burning hate and discontent in your eye and say, Fucking asshole, I am ready for the day. If you don't like how I look, you can just go fuck yourself. And while you're wondering why he's being such an asshole, he will have made his way to the woodshed to whack off, undoubtedly as you instructed him to. As you sit on the couch crying the rest of the day by yourself, wondering what went wrong, why he doesn't want anything to do with you, why he would rather whack off in the woodshed rather than to have sex with you. The answer is really rather simple. Look in the mirror, Cupcake. I think you will find all your answers there.